Alrighty guys, this is not the video I really wanted to make, but it's all about the journey, right? So, you're going to see my struggles, my failing. Here's my thumbnail. It's all about this journey. So, this video is going to be about my good product failing me right now, or me failing it. So, main thing I would like you guys to get out of this video is just to see that you might have a product that's doing really well and not to, um, you know, go ahead and change your lifestyle, start buying a bunch of things, hitting up the strip club. You guys need to be mindful of the future. As I usually say in most of my videos, you guys need to think long term. So, I just want to go over some numbers with you real quick. So, let me show you sales real quick. So, these are screenshots from... <clears throat> the Seller Central app, which is an app you need to get if you're going to become an FBA seller. So this is product sales. So this is the last 30 days, and uh, October is when my second shipment came in. So I think I started selling the first ones like October 8th. Um, but you can see the end of the peak really right here, um, right before October, let's see, September, like 22nd. Um, things were going good. And I'm really not sure why sales were that high because I had just come back from like a month of not having inventory and then um, didn't really change my PPC strategy. But I apologize for my screen going in and out. This monitor connection is terrible. Um, but yeah, I really kept things the same. But as I was watching my financials, I noticed that advertising was eating up almost all of my profit and I switched it off and I shouldn't have done that because I'm pretty sure that's what um, has played a heavy role and you can see the declining <laughs> as it goes down into November so on uh, a couple days without sales uh, you know which is it can be a really scary uh, really discouraging thing keep grinding keep your head up but make sure you know if you have a f I might stop selling this to be honest I just might you know, let it sell out and just move on to the next one. This will be another loss, I guess. Another learning experience. So yeah, 98 units is not what I want. You want 300 in the last 30 days. 10 units a day. And people might be like, oh, well, your sales, you're doing, you know, 3,000 in sales last month. That's pretty good. That's revenue. So the price point, I've actually lowered my price. Um, it was 34.99. I've gone all the way down to 29.95 just increase sales um, I'm doing a lot of things so um, so let's let me break that down real quick so looking at this screen so this is something I recommend every seller should do is have some kind of spreadsheet breakdown you can have this in Amazon uh, I don't like the way they give it to you so I just make my own um, so this past order it was 350 units um, so with everything combined as you can see here, uh, you know the total expense was uh, right at forty about forty three hundred dollars. Um, excuse me, almost forty five hundred dollars. And um, the cost per unit is about eleven thirty one. And that's without including the advertising spend. So you know selling these at excuse me that's profit. Wow. Total cost is almost 24 bucks. So selling them at 34.99, my profit would be 11.31. This is again without any advertising. Now that I had to bring my price down, you know the Amazon fees went down a dollar. Uh, still, <laughs> that's a six dollar, five dollar difference right there. So that doesn't really help. That doesn't really matter much. Um, so profit, you know, didn't go down, or cost didn't really go down that much either. That doesn't make, oh, because the, the, obviously. Um, so yeah, so that doesn't really matter. Um, profit went down a lot, four bucks is a lot. Um, and of course, overall profit is gone down too. So basically, if I break even, that means I would spend about $2,500 on advertising, which is something I do not want to do, but I'm kind of getting there. So, I do keep track of sales. 
I'm not really going to go over this, but this is pretty much just, you know, every day. And I don't do this like, I copy and paste this. So basically you can go into, um, I'll probably make a separate video of this, but you can go into payments under your seller central account on your desktop. Um, just do transactions. Um, don't worry about, you know, reimbursements and all that stuff. Or not reimbursements, um, like paying for advertising and stuff like that. Just copy and paste it into your Excel. And then you can kind of organize it in here. What I want to focus on is ad spend. Okay, so um, let me see. Okay, so October 13th is when I relaunched my advertising because even though it says you see the start date, which was in August, that's when I first started selling these, um, you know, I had to have that month gap So because I, I sold out in September. So most of September up until October 13th, I wasn't able to sell anything. So I revamped my advertising in October, um, and it what it was already at 194. So started off with 194 and 128. So that's how much I spent. Let's, let's say that's 130. Let's say that's 200. So I spent 330 dollars for my first shipment, which is really really good. Um, that was 300 units to sell out. Um, <laughs> this time it's completely different. So you can see the combined ad spend is nine hundred and almost a thousand dollars and from that I've sold 67 units and I need to change this because this probably isn't even accurate anymore um, because the profits changed uh, I think I had it yeah at 1130 per unit but now it's seven something so I, I gotta change that a little bit but I've lost I've lost over two hundred thirty dollars advertising um, which really isn't that bad because in the short term you really want to like pay a lot to rank and you don't have to you know solely focus on advertising you can do giveaways you can do promotions um, but you know that little bite in the beginning if you have a good product should help you in the long run however this has been let me see how many units have I sold it's been a hundred and excuse me 98 I've sold over 100 units of my current shipment, which was 350. So I got 250 units to go. And if I'm spending that much just to sell 67, that's not good. 67 is like less, way less than a fourth. <laughs> and I don't want to spend $4,000 to sell the rest of it. So I'm losing money. Um, let's see, yeah, so it's November 15th right now. Uh, you know, I spent up to 20 bucks this morning. It's 11 a.m. checking it. And uh, it's just not good. So let me show you kind of what um, my advertising area looks like. Oops, okay. So this is advertising. Basically, to get here, once you've logged into your uh, Amazon Seller Central, you just go to advertising and then campaign manager. Uh, your screen might look different than this one. Um, I added a filter, oops, um, just to show the enabled ones, which means the ones that are running right now. Pause speaks for itself. Archive means you can't access anymore. That's like I'm done. Can't can't turn it on anymore. And then all is all. Um, so status obviously running means enabled. Uh, targeting so manual and automatic. I just went over those. I'm gonna make a separate video on those. So don't worry about it. Um, start date shows you end date so I didn't set an end date because I don't plan on you know I'm pretty much just gonna pause and unpause um, my campaigns when I need to I'm not gonna like set an end date because I, I want to keep selling this product but the way things are going I'm probably gonna let it sell out you know bite the bullet you know take a hundred to five hundred dollars loss uh, which I mean it sucks but it's a lot better than losing like five thousand dollars or yeah 4500 for what I paid for it which won't happen because um, the worst the worst I think this product will deal with is that it'll just be like one a day or one every other day with no ad spend and, I mean that's fine um, it'll just take forever but by the time that sells out then I'll have found another product so I should be okay and I'll learn a lot from this some things to notice so through manual which is what I've chosen. I've spent less, but the cost per click is really high. A good cost per click 
is less than 50 cents in my opinion. Probably way less than that. If you can get it down to like 5 cents, that's awesome. Um, and you know, there have been 436 people who have clicked on the ad out of almost 90,000, and only 42 of them have actually ordered this. So that means the conversion is pretty bad. The listing, there might be something wrong with the listing. It might be the product itself. Um, but that that's not a good conversion rate right there. And then ACOS is probably the most important thing. So if you ever wonder what any of these mean, you can click on the question mark. It shows you. So this is pretty much uh, way too high. This is probably double what it should be. So I've heard, and I agree, 15% is a decent ACOS. Like 10% you're good. 5% hell yeah. Um, but that's way too high. Same for man or auto. Auto's working out a little bit better. I'm obviously reaching more people with it. Um, and see this click cost per click to 60, 67 cents. Uh, but still, out of the 431 or out of the thousand people that clicked on it, only 85 have ordered uh, since this started. So 25% is not good. Um, so what am I going to do to combat this? So obviously, um, there are a couple things I need to do with my advertising. I'm going to keep spending this much and focusing on what people are clicking on, like what keywords they're typing in. So how do I do that? So basically, you want to go to your reports. You go to reports, and then you go to advertising reports. Okay. So obviously, I've downloaded a couple. Oops, that's the wrong one. Okay, yeah, so I've downloaded a couple. You want to go to search term report, and this is going to show you what people are clicking on, what keywords they're entering to look up your um, <clears throat> your product that you're selling. Now, uh, again, I'm not going to get too much into this. I'm just going to tell you what I'm, I'm doing to combat it, which is to just pay attention to the search term reports like every two or three days because they probably won't change that much. Um, they haven't changed since I first launched, really. People are still typing in the same stuff. But keep an eye on that. Make sure I'm spending money where it needs to be spent and not spending money on keywords or negative keywords. So things I don't want to spend money on. Um, other things, listing, obviously. Double check my description. Double check my photos. My photos are pretty good. There's only one, excuse me, that I really want to work on. Um, but I, honestly, I don't think it's that bad and uh, the bullet points are on point. I only have four reviews which might be another reason why people are not buying it but reviews in my opinion aren't that important um, you know they're necessary but you want to be you if you have one review but you're selling a thousand units which probably won't happen or you won't have one review for very long it, it doesn't matter all that matters is you're pushing weight and pushing product. On top of that Video reviews, I think, are really, really important, which is another thing I'm doing. My product needs a video review. I've asked a friend to do it. I hope she gets to it. Uh, she's killing me. It's not her fault. It's It all falls back on me. I'm just like, it's been like two weeks, kind of. If you, can, if you don't want to do it, I'll have somebody else do it. But anyway, I'm going to have a friend, probably maybe one or two more upload videos um, of the product actually being used. And that's going to kind of have that like social impact of, oh, okay, that product looks legit. They actually tested it and all that stuff. And this video from a buyer, so I'm going to buy it. So that's another thing I'm going to do. Um, and then also, I'm kind of rebranding it. So it has a logo on it already. Um, but I'll be honest, the logo, it, it kind of looked kind of bad. That's my fault because I just rushed into this. So I'm going to make another logo and put that on round three my third order of this product and it's gonna look a lot more professional because it was made by a professional and I believe that's gonna heavily tie into sales as well because a good product can sell better than a product that doesn't look as good um, you know some other things I wouldn't say okay they've definitely affected sales but I have no right to complain about is the competition um, I knew when I launched into it it was going to get competitive. I launched into it at the right time, I believe, but I sold out and my success killed me, um, per se. I had no idea I was going to sell almost 100 units or, or almost 90 units in one day, which was a third, almost a third of my whole inventory. Literally sold out in like two or three days. So 
that month really dropped my rank and really killed me. So I guess really the things I'm really going to focus on is just getting the keywords to rank up, ranking for keywords, PPC, and getting those video reviews. And then once my second order comes in, you know, not hoping per se, but making it look better, and that, I believe, that combination is going to really help boost the sales. Um, looking forward into 2018, you know, I'm, I'm going to go into this next order. Um, I know this product will sell, even if it's just one a day. Uh, however, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a product that's going to sell 10 a day, make at least $100 uh, in profit after Amazon and cost of shipping and cost of manufacturing. Um, you know, not before taxes, but still, $100 that Amazon's going to send to me for every single day I'm selling. That's what I want. And this product isn't making it. So if I can't get it um, by the next order, by the next, you know, I'm getting 250 units this time because sales don't meet 300 or 350 a month, then I'm getting rid of it. Um, so yeah, so you might be able to tell I'm feeling kind of down from this. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just another, another obstacle to overcome, another learning experience. So, um, you know, I don't want to talk bad about any other sellers, but I feel like this is something probably in entrepreneurship overall. People don't really talk about their failures a lot. And people are like, oh, I don't like that word failure. It's a failure. It didn't work or it didn't work the way you wanted it to. Um, you know, that's pretty much the definition of a failure. <laughs> so you know, not meeting the requirements. So, but it's not that bad. You know, I could have, I could have spent like five or $6,000 on this and it could have completely flopped. And I would have lost that 5,000 and then I would have spent like another 5,000 on advertising, which is something I'm, you know, definitely not gonna do with this product. But I need to keep an eye on that. And I encourage everybody to keep an eye on that. People are like, oh, you know, you can launch these and you don't work at all. Well, very rarely I find that's the case because on top of doing all this, you still want to build a brand around this because you want to have not only Amazon traffic coming to your product, but pro or traffic from the World Wide Web. Um, you know, I'm only selling in the United States, but Facebook advertising, Instagram ads, things like that, which I haven't di really um, gotten into that yet, but still you want to eventually build a brand and drive traffic from whatever, wherever you're selling to that Amazon link or if you have a store to that store online like Shopify or something so eventually that's what I want to do um, so yeah so I hope you guys were able to take something from this if you have any questions hit me up I'm gonna link all my stuff in the description um, you know leave a comment like subscribe if you want to and I'm gonna do I'm gonna start trying to do uh, a lot more videos. Um, I've just been really slacking on the video side. Unfortunately, and this is an excuse, unfortunately since sales have you know gone down, I've been having to do other things to make money. Um, and you know, videos don't really take a long time, but I don't know. I'm just lazy and I just don't get around to making videos. I'd rather make money than make videos. But providing value, branding that value long term. Cool. Alright, so that's all I got. So I'm going to edit this video and then make it kind of shorter. Sorry if it was too long. All right. See you.